All right, Shalom Yashirala, back again with another Lord with an edifying video <coughs> through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi Shai. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and glory and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Racha Kodash. And next up, the Bahamas to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Who still guard us to the hours and bowers and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and her well and peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the Yakims out there who is pushing the truth from the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and a sincerity to the best of their abilities. In the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, what are people here for? Bear. And back at it with another lesson to the spirit of Pavi Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. And the name of this lesson is going to be called Wisdom Giveth Life, man. The, like the wisdom of knowledge and understanding of these scriptures is what brings us back to life, man. <coughs> the spirit of Pavi by Shimon and Shah. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the scriptures. I'm going to get the book of uh, <coughs> Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 12. Slack like The book of Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Right, uh, wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense, man. It's an advantage, man. Having a wisdom of knowledge and understanding of the scriptures is an advantage, man. You know, and the money is an advantage, an advantage too, man. You know, brothers always bring out this scripture, money is defense, Whenever it comes to financial, man, because that's true, and that, and that precept word for uh, defense is advantage, man. You know, so having money uh, saved up, not the, not not in a carnal way, but just to have money always around, is uh, is an advantage, man. <coughs> because whenever you need something, you stacking up money, you can say you can get whatever you need, man. Well, right here, but the main point that I want to hit in this scripture right here is. Uh, that wisdom giveth life to them that haveth, man. Right, and the Lord uh, and the Lord giveth wisdom and knowledge and understanding to those who He sees worthy to have His wisdom, man. Because this wisdom isn't ours. This wisdom is Yahweh by Shemuel Shaz, man, and it gives life to them that have it, man. And who is them? It's talking about the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Because the Lord is only dealing with the Israelites, man. Only the elect right now. So I'm going to read that scripture over again. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. For wisdom is an offense, right? With that word, defense is advantage. <coughs> it's a preset word, advantage, man. And money is a, def uh, is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> but the excellency of knowledge. Um, Slaki, let me read this over again. Slaki, I'll keep coughing. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. For wisdom is a defense, and money is the defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Right. And this word does give us life, man. Because we, because Yahweh Shah has brought us back to life, man. By breathing a breath of life into our nostrils, man. And, we be, and becoming a living person again. Becoming reborn, man. You know? So with that, um... Um, we're going to go from there <clears throat> to the book of Genesis, the second chapter. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 7, verse... I mean, like, this is the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. Slack it. And the Lord, Yahweh, power formed man from the dust of the ground and, bre and breathed it, or breath, or breath, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. <coughs> Right, and that breath, um, that breath, uh, the breath of life equals the knowledge, man. The knowledge of wisdom and understanding, which is his knowledge, man. See, that proves that the knowledge that we have is Yahweh, is Yahweh by Hashem, Shaz, man. You know, because it says, um, before, uh, <coughs> we knew of the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Shah has to, had to give us the wisdom and knowledge and understanding, man. You know, of what the things he likes, what the things he don't like. You know what I'm saying? The things that pleases him, the thing that displeases him, man. See, the Lord, the Lord 
uh, breathe the, the, the let breath of life into our nostrils, man. You know, <coughs> you know what I'm saying. And we be, and we became a living soul, man. We are no longer in the congregation of the dead anymore, man. Because Yahweh Shai has given us the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures for us to come back to life, man. You know. So uh, <coughs> we're gonna go from there. <coughs> we're gonna go from there to uh, to the apocrypha because uh, the scripture says breath of life, man. And wisdom, and the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures is the breath. Wisdom is the breath. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter uh, 7, verse 24. But the point is at 25. And it reads, For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness, right? And moving is a, uh, is a uh, moving. <coughs> Is uh, more moving than is more moving than any motion, man. You know, that's why I'm gonna get that that scripture in a second. That's why it says in Saint John seven and thirty eight that whosoever believes, matter of fact, let me get it, man. Let me get it. Let me let the scripture speak. You know, cause that's cause that's what we that's what we do here at Great Minister. We let the scripture speak. You know, this is the book of Saint John chapter seven verse thirty eight. This is Lord Yahweh shall speak, and the words are written in the red. It, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Right, and what is living water does, man? Living water moves, man. Living water moves, man. Anything that lives moves, man. You know, it's not standing still. You know what I'm saying? Just like a fish, right? The fish in the water. <coughs> if you see a fish... Constantly moving, you know that it's alive, man. But if you see a fish that's belly up and it's just stand there and it stands still, it's dead, man. It's dead. That's how you know when something's dead if it stays still. But if you know something that's moving and it's breathing and it's moving around, you know that it's alive, man. That's the same thing with the wisdom and knowledge and understanding these scriptures, man. Uh, <coughs> let me read this over again. This is the book of St. John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, right? So he that believeth on Lord Yahweh Shah, as the scripture have said, man. Meaning that um, everything that the scripture says, we have to believe in it, man. We have to have faith and we have to believe on the scriptures, man. You know? and it, Which is, has to be given to you by Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Out of his belly, which means his mind. You know what I'm saying? Shall flow rivers of living water, right? And what's that living water? The the living the living water represents the wisdom and knowledge and understanding, man. That's what the living water represents, man. And then you're gonna constantly grow and progress in this truth, man. And you're not gonna that like be like stagnant water and just stay still, man. You know, you, you're not gonna stay still. You're gonna constantly level up. You're gonna constantly improve, man, in this truth, man. You know. And how do you how do you grow from this truth? How do you get over those those levels, man? By praying to your high by Shemiyasha for more, you know. Because um, the scripture says, uh, "Ask ye shall receive," you know. But without further ado, we're gonna go back to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven, verse twenty-four. For wisdom is more moving than any than any motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. Verse 25, for she is the breath of the power of the Most High and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore can no, it's like a therefore can no defiled thing fall onto her. Right. See, wisdom is the breath of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. And that's exactly what Yahweh by Shemiah Shah breathed it into man, man. You know, the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, man. You know, <clears throat> primarily the Israelite man, because Yahweh by Shemiah is only dealing with the uh, nation of Israel, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. You know, even before we was even before we was called Israelites, man, the Lord always dealt with that line, with that lineage, man. You know, so He gave us the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of <coughs> He gave His He gave us the wisdom and knowledge and understanding, man. And we became a living soul, you know. Oh yeah, we're gonna stay in the apocrypha. Yeah, that's a good scripture. We're gonna stay into the apocrypha, and we're gonna go to the the book of Sirach, chapter eleven, verse fifteen. Yeah, come, I'm going straight to the point. This is 
Sirach 11 and 15. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law are of the Lord. Right? See, the wisdom, and knowledge, and understanding of the law is comes from the Yahabai Shem Shai, man. So in order for you to understand these scriptures, Yahabai Shem Shai has to give it to you, man. It's something that you can't obtain by yourself, man. It's something that has to be given to you, man. It is a gift of Yahabai Shem Shai, man. I think that's in Ephesians 2 and 8, man. You know, it is a gift, man. Faith. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and wisdom and knowledge and understanding, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, faith <laughs> is given from Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. It is a gift. It is a reward, man. Because Yahweh by Shem Shah have chosen us out of all our family members to do this work, man. You know what I'm saying? And Lord willing, be worthy to be that elect number. <coughs> Love and the way of good works are from him. Right? Love and... And the way of good works are from your how by Shemiah Shah. What are the good works? Following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your abilities, man. You know? Serving your how by Shemiah Shah to the best of our abilities, man. You know? And wisdom, and you know what I'm saying? And the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures is what's going to keep us stable and keep us alive, man. <coughs> you know? So that's, I think that's about sums it up. For the most part, right, man. So, hey, wisdom giveth life, man. And who gave wisdom to us, man? Yahweh Bahashem Yahushah. That's why we ought to thank him, praise him, and glorify that name always, man. You know, always to Adi Yahweh Bahashem Yahushah for giving us the wisdom and knowledge and understanding this truth, man. Because Yahweh Bahashem Yahushah didn't have to give it to us, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahushua gave his wisdom and knowledge and understanding to us, man. And Lord willing, we keep doing this work, man. You know? Wisdom give of light, life, man. You know? The wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures give of life, man. So with that, Lord willing, this video was edifying for y'all. Kim's out of this watching to the spirit. I want to give all honor and glory and praises unto the heavenly father and to his only begotten son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha. Bahashim or And next up, double honors to our apostles, not elders of Great Millstone, who still got her to the highways and byways and feed us with the 100% true, according to the Bible and her rule well. And peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the Yakims out there who is pushing the truth from the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity to the best of their abilities in the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha. With that, Shalom, Kwame Ashirala.